Start your morning with the Christmas show on Kiss FM. You know, as we set up, Bob, we spare little expense. <laughs> We've got a bleacher section. Bob Basso. <laughs> yes, sir. Good morning, Bob. I hope my mother was wrong. She <laughs> once interviewed me, uh, in, uh, introduced me at a convention of 2,000 people, and she said seven words, sat down, had them on their had them on their knees. She said he was better as a coming attraction. <laughs> I, I, Gary, I that. That's cute. That's mother, mothers are like that. You know? Brooklyn mothers are like that. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we did the, uh, the Grand Slam Parade last Thursday night for the, to kick off the Little League World Series. 35,000 fans. We did it on, on the uh, local PBS affiliate. I was anchoring with a gal named Suzanne Kelly on WVIA. And my mother watched it. I said, did you watch it? And I said, well, how do you think it went? She said, uh, not so hot. <laughs> I said, I've seen, she said, I've seen better. I've seen better. You look tired. <laughs> but Gary, you didn't sweat a lot, and that's good. Mothers say those things. <laughs> Bob, it's great having you here. The Williamsport Tea Party tomorrow, 1030 tomorrow morning. Uh, I'm sure festivities will get underway early. And, and uh, Keith X here with you. Now, Keith, real quick, I'll let you jump in. Tomorrow morning... I know we've had a lot of calls. Uh, tea party tomorrow. What time will the festivities really get underway before you start at 10.30? Well, they start at 10.30, but we're going to start the band somewhere around quarter of uh, quarter after, nine, eight, nine, excuse me, 9.45. Okay, yeah. so 9.45 tomorrow. Big crowd expected. The, the, the buzz crowd. out there, a lot of folks are coming from all over Pennsylvania, maybe the Northeast. I hope so. That's, that's what we're looking at. But one man that they're coming to see is Bob Basso. Uh, it's going to go till 12:30. I'll be the MC, keeping it moving, and then it will be a, a march or a walk to the Market Street Bridge. Bob, you've been part of this whole uh, this whole thing for a lot of years, and of course, people know you from your your Thomas Paine uh, routine that has become famous. Some 24 million hits on YouTube. How long have you been doing that? It's amazing. Gary, like most Americans, I woke up nine months ago having done the emails, knocked on the doors, protested, done all the things that America does to get the attention of our non-representing representatives. It didn't work. It doesn't work anymore. The system has to be shaken to the core. So one moment, I woke up nine months ago and looked at a picture of Thomas Paine, myself, 37 years ago, when we toured the country with the American Living History Theater. We went to Washington, we went to Congress, we went to France, we went to England, and we performed 15 different vignettes on American history. I put Thomas Paine away in a trunk, and I said, what if we brought back Thomas Paine, and he looked around the America today that we're looking at, has trashed the Constitution, has put the most dangerous man in the history of our presidency into the Oval Office. What would he say? Now, Paine was not political. He said that politics was the manure pile on the roadway to common sense and reason. <laughs> He's the man who wrote common sense, the mm -hmm. man that Thomas uh, John Adams said it was the sword of Washington and the pen of Thomas Paine that gave America its freedom. He was the first man to call us the United States of America. We brought Paine back went on YouTube, figuring we wouldn't get 200 hits. Here's an old fart in colonial costume. <laughs> this is a young, hip, today America. They're not going to look at a man talking about principles. We got 14 million hits. YouTube reported it was the most amount of hits in the shortest period of time. The bells went off. Obviously, Mr. Payne had hit some nerve in America. Whether you're Republican, Democrat, <clears throat> right wing, left wing, or no wing, he was saying something, if we don't wake up, we're going to lose this country, if we haven't already lost it. But he brought the promise of hope. The real miracle of America is everything we've lost, we can retrieve. That message rebound all over the country. I have spoken 419 times in the last nine months. Time magazine said Mr. Payne has spoken to 1.3 million Americans. And to those people out there who call the Tea Party and the 912ers and everyone else who comes to these rallies extremists, I say to them, I have talked to these people, I have embraced them, I have seen them. They are black, they are white, they are brown, <clears throat> they are right wing, left wing, and no wing. They are Americans that are concerned with the survival of this country. How dare we allow the media to label them right wing extremists? And I would say to those people who call us extremists, it's not a question of whether or not we're extremists. It's a question of what, what kind of extremists shall we be. This nation 
and this world needs creative extremists. I didn't say that. Martin Luther King did. He also said that the hottest spot in hell is reserved for those Americans who at time of great moral crisis turn their back on this country. And on Saturday, you're going to see Pennsylvania has never turned their back on any responsibility. The birthplace of our Constitution are going to come out and not just wave the flag, not just rally round the boys. It's going to be the start of America taking back this country. It'll happen Saturday, and every red-blooded American, and even if you're not an American, come and see America waking up to its ultimate responsibility. They work for us. We don't work for them. Listen. And I want my country back. Then he would say, government at best is a necessary evil, at worst an intolerable one. But when the American people turn their back on their responsibility to shadow, to guard that and protect that government, they have lost the gift of America. And it's time now for the Sunshine Patriots to get off their hindquarters and to fight for this country. Never before in the history of America have all our values, everything that we revere, been under such a massive assault. We are becoming what we were never intended to become, and that is a social European democracy. We actually have a president who's quoting Marx in the White House. How dare we as Americans sit down now and do nothing about it, regardless of what your po politics are, whether you like Mr. Payne or dislike Mr. Payne. Come out and shout for what you believe. America is aroused. I have been all over this country in the last nine months. I've only changed my underwear twice. <laughs> <laughs> and I Too can, much information. I can, <laughs> I can tell America that America is angry. They're also buying more guns than ever before yeah. in our history. And it's why we have these rallies on Saturday, to prevent them from using it. Because I guarantee America, and I don't want to see war, I've been in war, I've been in combat, I do not want to see war, no reasonable American wants to see blood in the streets. But it will come to that unless the real power base in this country, the 80% of Americans in the middle, the silent majority, get off their hindquarters and start pressuring, pressuring, pressuring. We saw that and how it worked in the recent town hall meetings, when Americans took their fists and their fingers and stuck them in the face of their representatives who stood there and cowered. Nine of them canceled all their town hall meetings because they saw something they'd never seen before. They saw their employers, the American people, demanding they listen to them. That's the key right now. Start your morning with The Chrisman Show on KISS FM.